What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. I need you all to panic because our beloved Netflix has once again done what we never thought would happen. They canceled a beautiful TV show for which we all hope to see a much needed continuation. Yes, Fate, the Winx Saga Season 3 has been canceled. First of all, I would like to take this moment to ask the CW one question. Why the hell did you cancel Legacies? We need an explanation. Second, why is Netflix constantly canceling successful and popular TV shows? Why are they doing this all of a sudden? Isn't it better to tell the creators they have two seasons so they can come up with a proper ending? With its magic storylines, incredible cast and ensemble, and amazing plot twist, Fate the Winx Saga had a rough beginning, but season 2 rose the show to a higher scale. And now that we got into it, the streaming giant stabbed our backs with yet another cancellation. Netflix, do you enjoy doing this to your subscribers? After the second installment dropped on the streaming network, fans were looking forward to yet another continuation, especially after all those cliffhangers we were left with. However, showrunners have recently announced that Fate the Winx Saga has been cancelled, meaning that a third season is not happening. For those not familiar, Fate follows Bloom Peters, a character played by the beautiful and talented Abigail Cohen, who is a teenage girl and a fairy. She goes to Alvia College, a school for fairies that teaches them how to use and control their powers. The second installment ended with Sebastian Valtor, portrayed by Iana Hardwick, being defeated by all the Winx members who received their wings in the finale. Show creator Brian Young took to Instagram on the 1st of November to announce that his TV show won't be given a third installment. He told followers, Hi all, so this is not fun news to share, but Netflix has decided not to move forward with season 3 of Fate, The Winx Saga. Young also explained just how much fans enjoyed the show, referring to the fact that the show has been cancelled as a heartbreaking silver lining. However, the creator holds hope that in the future, his show might be saved and thus the series could continue. He added, It's been an amazing four years. Hopefully, we'll see each other again in the future. So much love. Well, Brian, there are other networks that I believe would be interested in your project. For a TV show to be successful, it doesn't necessarily mean it should be on Netflix, right guys? So how does the cast feel about the cancellation? Before the heartbreaking announcement was issued, the cast of the series talked about potential storylines for season 3 and of course their hopes for the next installment. When asked about her hopes for the show's third installment, Abigail Cohen who plays Bloom told Cosmopolitan UK that she would love to meet Bloom's birth parents. That would be really great and just to see her be happy go to therapy, I'd like to see her come into her own, fully come into her own and start to use these powers for complete good and be the best fire fairy there is. Precious Mustaf, who plays Aisha, told Cosmopolitan that she would like to explore Aisha's goals a bit more because she's mentioned her plans for the future. It's pretty clear that we won't see another season of the series but we really think that it's just a matter of time until someone realizes the potential of the show and orders another continuation. As for what could have happened in the series' third installment? Well, a lot. The second installment left us with a lot of questions, a lot of theories, and a lot of promising storylines. One thing that we know for sure is that you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. No, seriously, a lot of fans anticipated one very special relationship that was supposed to start in the third installment. The official Instagram account of Fate the Winx Saga released a clip of Riven and Musa from season 2, with fans coming up with different theories regarding the couple's future. But what else could have happened? Well, the second installment concluded with Bloom entering the realm of darkness, where she meets what she believes is her mother. Such a reunion promised a lot of exciting storylines for the next episodes. The other fairies would have tried to bring Bloom back, that's for sure, since they had a lot of deaths to deal with. In a set visit, Cosmopolitan asked Brian Young for his plans for future episodes. Alfia will always be our home, Brian said, adding that they start to broaden the world out but it's always going to be important that this remains their touchstone. Interestingly enough, he also talked about the series' end since, according to Cosmopolitan, the show focuses on teen characters. 
there is a sort of limit where these characters will eventually age out, so finding a limit to this part of the story is important to me. If the show were to continue on, we have to ask ourselves, how can we evolve this story into a new way while still feeling like there is a beginning, a middle, and an end to the story we started telling in season 1? One thing we know for sure is that we were just a few episodes away from meeting Bloom's family. As you already know, Bloom is actually the fairy of the dragon flame and she is, believe it or not, 1,000 years old. We would appreciate it if she shares her skincare routine. The third season was supposed to give more background on Bloom's family, especially her mother. In the animated series, Bloom was from the ruined kingdom of Domino. Her parents were the rulers. Another interesting fact is that Bloom's mother had a sister named Daphne, so since the lead character was reunited with her mother by the end of season 2, the third installment was supposed to focus on the mother-daughter relationship. Mom? Another thing that season 3 would have introduced is the tricks. Okay, so we do know that Beatrix has two estranged sisters. We also know that she is from the burned village of Asterdale, but she remembers nothing of her life before coming to Althea. Beatrix sounds familiar, right? The name consists of Trix, which is the trio from the original series. More precisely, they're a trio of witches composed of Icy, Darcy, and Stormy. In the animated feature, they are one of the biggest enemies of Winx. Sadly, it looks like we'll never meet them in the live-action version. Another character the show is supposed to introduce is the villain, Darker. At the very end of the second installment, fans saw a dark shadowy which reminded us of one very special villain from the animated series. A lot of fans believed that this could be darker. In the original series, this villain was also known as the Prince of Darkness. He is, in fact, the opposite of the Dragon Flame, bringing dark magic to the other world dimension. We have a feeling that this shadow would have played a big role in the next installment. Our theory is that Darker would have joined forces with the Trix and they would have been the next enemy of the Winx in the third installment. It would have been fun to see Beatrix reunite with her sisters. Since Beatrix died at the end of season 3, we think Darker would have saved her and thus made her a villain. Another important thing is that all of our beloved fairies showed their wings in the finale. This means that they would have used their powers to their full potential. The fate the Winx Saga Season 2 finale left us with a couple of twists and many cliffhangers. To be completely honest, the second installment was way better than its predecessor. And with Season 3 cancelled, fans are really angry with the fact that all those questions will never be answered. According to Netflix, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Now, what about all those realms? What about Solaria, the realm in which Elphia is located? But what about Heraklion, Linfia, Andros, and Polaris? See you in the next video.